Welcome to The Daily Dish with New York Times bestselling author, Leanne Ely. Putting vibrancy back into your everyday life and feeding your heart, mind, body, and soul. Join us every day at 1 p.m. Eastern for Motivational Monday, Tuesday's Tip, Wise Woman's Wednesday, Thirsty Thursday, Food Fight Friday, and of course, Q&A, where no question is off limits, and Soulful Saturday. Here is your host, Leanne Ely and The Daily Dish. excited about today's show. Can't wait to share with y'all. It's Soulful Saturday. Come on in. It's time to get absolutely busy. And there's my girl Amber already. Yay. Hi, Amber. Good to see you. And, and we're going, we're going, we're going, we're going, doing the worm. Hi, Martha. Nice to see you. Here come the folks. Everybody's marching on in. It's marching orders time. I can't wait to share everything that we're doing right now. This is gonna be such a fun show. Lizzie's in the house too. Yes, all of our gals love this. Love seeing you guys here. Love, 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 love. Who else is here? Say hello if you dare. <laughs> There's our girl, Jenny. Jenny's here. We are just having such a fun time powwowing, you guys. Hi, Vicki. Hi, Julie. Good to see you. Good to see everyone. There's our girl, Sarah. She's excited for a fun show. I think it's a fun show. There's Denise. Hello, Denise. Yeah, good to see all of you. And I really appreciate the fact that you show up. Rhonda's here. When you show up, it just, it just, I watch everybody coming in. It's like watching friends come into the front door of your house. It's a fun time. Hi, Juanita. Good to see you. Tammy's in the house. Konnichiwa to you too. <laughs> Hi, Doris. Good to see you. Vicky's here too. I miss Vicky. Hi, Vicky. Hi, Wendy. I'm talking about you today. I'm talking about you today. Norma's here. Good deal. Julie, Julie is here. Hello. Well, I'm really glad to see everyone and I'm gonna be sharing with you some things. Um, and you know, you know what's so fun for us on the Saving Dinner team? You know, we're getting ready right now for Thanksgiving next week and everything. We're doing all of our stuff now. It's Black Friday, it's Black Friday. And you haven't been on the site, it's jingle belled up. <laughs> you can go and see all the things that we're offering right now at savingdinner.com forward slash thanks. You know, up to 50% off. Come on, that's ridiculous. We did a huge, huge buy. The kind that just made me go, ugh, scary. But you know what's happened? <laughs> this is the funny thing that's happened. Um, you guys, we're ordering more because you are cleaning us out. I, I am shocked. We said, oh, no way anybody's ever going to do that. They are. We are. We are packing massive boxes and getting you set up to be set up for 2021. And that's just the best way to go, especially when you can save half off, half off. And we get to do that for you when we make massive buys and we just did it. So we're really excited about that. And when you hear Wendy's testimonial, it's going to blow you away. It's going to blow you away. Um, I'm so glad, Wendy, and I'm so, you know, serving. This is our whole thing. And we, we've shared this together as, as when we get together with our team meetings, what a delight it is for us to be able to share and pool our collective talents together and do everything. It's just wonderful. There's Yolanda, I see you. Um, and it's just, you know, the, the, the uh, depths of gratitude that we have is, is one thing, but also the, the ability to be able to do what we do and, and have all these, you know, I mean, I have to tell you, Jenny and Amber and Mark, uh, together that we put this, we have a really good team. We have a really cohesive team and I'm, that's my Thanksgiving gratitude right there. And today is my son's birthday, by the way. He is 29. How do I have a 29 year old son and a 30 year old daughter? But yeah, anyway, he said, mom, next year I'm gonna be middle-aged. And I said, if you're gonna be middle-aged, what does that make me? You know, let's, 
Oh, Wendy, bless you, bless you. That makes me, you're gonna make me cry, Wendy. She's gonna make me cry. You're gonna cry when I read this testimonial. I'm gonna read it to you because, you know, I, I have to tell you, when Wendy's email first came in, I, I read it and I was just like, oh man, I wanna give this woman hope, but I don't wanna give her false hope either. And I wanna make sure that we are all on the same page. And I was thinking about today, everything that we do, the way our supplements are, the way our programs are, the way our team is, everything, grassroots level, is on the level, how can we serve? How can we help? How can we be a part of a community and not just you know preach a whole bunch of stuff, but bring people in? That's our, that is our goal. That's our goal. We wanna make sure that when you come in, you feel loved, you feel accepted, and you feel cared for. And we know who you are. We know you individually by name. There's our girl, Norma. Norma shows up every single day and greets everybody in our Hot Melt Sprint group. I can tell you probably about 50 women, I can tell you different things about them simply because of their showing upness. You know, is that a word? I just made it up. Let's go with it, right? But you show up and you say, hey, here I am, I'm a part of this group. We say yippee, skippy, because we, we want more people in. Yolanda is loving the new Sleepies. The Sleepies is ridiculous. I mean, I would not be without it. Forever and ever, amen, I will never be without this, this, this product. We made this for you, by the way. That's what our whole thing is. We make our, our supplements. It's for women like us. I always say that. It's for women like us. And yeah, we can give, you know, if you had a husband that was having a hard time sleeping, I'd probably, depending on his size, give him a few more than just for us, but these are for women like us. You know, it's not random crap that you're gonna get off of Amazon wondering where it came from. This is formulated, this is specific, this is fresh, this is right here made in the US, it's for you. It's for you, we do this work for you. And it's, you know, I, I've been thinking about this a lot, especially after last night after I sat there and cried through the whole um, testimonial that we got from Wendy. And I've been thinking about this a lot and how it, what, what we're doing is to take you to the next level, period. Because we want to go too. So we're doing all of that. I saw that. I saw that. You're going to be sleeping. I saw it. Sarah's bought, she bought 12. She bought 12 of the sleepies because it's half off. You know, that's the way to do it. Now you can do it the supplement of the week, buy three and get another one free. And we have that on savingdinner.com forward slash show just because we have it. But really, where you want to go is the Black Friday sale. And I'm, I know I'm talking endlessly about it, but I, I want to support you. You know, this is it. This is, where, this is how we do things. So today we're going to be talking about the four steps to intention and how to nurture your beautiful self because that's your soul. And it brings in all the things. It brings all, in all the things and it gives you... Um, a guideline on how to live your life intentionally because this is the good juicy stuff that we love, right? It is. It's the good juicy stuff that we love. And I have a, a quote of the week that's going to blow you away. It's this one. Conviction and convenience don't live on the same block. That came from Lisa Nichols, who's a, a motivational speaker. I love her. She's wonderful. came from her grandma. And this is exactly what we're going to be talking about because... When we want, when we're convicted, when we're convicted, I've really got to get my act together. I've got to get my life together. I've got to do things healthier. I've got to do things this and do things that. Here's the thing you need to know. Oh, Yolanda, that's wonderful. Um, your conviction and convenience are going to go hand in hand. They're just not. Because that means you're going to have to flip some stuff up, you know? And that gets you to the place of living by intention which is today's topic. You guys are gonna love this. I hope you're taking notes. Yolanda just said that melatonin alone gives me nightmares, AMN, me too, or it makes me sleep in a real weird way. I feel funky when I wake up. Sleep ease just works, no negative effects. It has a touch of melatonin in, and that's the problem with a lot of melatonin supplements out there. There's too much in there. You don't need a lot. That's the trick. That's the trick. So anyway, I just, I'm, I'm just thrilled about today's show, excited about it, excited to share everything with you. And by the way, if you are getting the show notes, which you should be, um, if you're signed up for our, our emails, we, we send them every single day. So you will get tomorrow, you will get today's show notes. There's always a bunch of great information in there, actionable, 
information. It makes all the difference in the world because you know, the stuff that we're doing and we're talking about, it's just not to go rah, 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 see you later, bye. It's so that you can take this stuff and actually use it in your life. That's the thing that makes the difference. That's when you start to move the needle in your life, not just between your toes when you get up in the morning and weigh yourself, but on every aspect. That's why this is the Daily Dish Show. We're bringing vibrancy back to your everyday life, heart, mind, body, and soul. It's everything. It's everything. And by the way, you know, the show notes are free. The show is free. We do, we give away so much stuff. You'll also get a menu for free of your choosing of what you want. And you know what? We do this because how can we support you? This is our goal. This is our mission. We look at that every single solitary day. That's what we do. So what else can I tell you about? Well, we had a skincare webinar too. And because people are always asking, you know, what about how, you know, how do I get nice skin? They write in with skin issues and all of that. And it, you know, I have a very uh, strict regime about what I believe about skin. And I know this to be true because I've been in the place of absolute uh, despair with crusty rosacea all over my face. I've been in the place where I, I know what it feels like to have really bad skin. I know what it feels like to have feel betrayed by your skin. Well, it's an inside and an outside job, and we have all the information on that. Go to savingdinner.com forward slash skin, free webinar, actionable steps there, and good stuff for you to take notes on. So I want you to get that. We, we usually do about one, two, sometimes even three webinars a month. And our whole point is to educate and give you actionable stuff that you can put <laughs> into your life immediately following the webinar, you know? And we offer great deals as well, always, because we, you know, we, we want you to have the very best that we've got to offer. So uh, yes, the, uh, let me just tell you, these things are flying out the door right now. This is our mindful mug. We drink a little cup of bone broth to keep us mindful on how we eat and uh, your orders <clears throat> and how much you're ordering is is all doing that and let me just say this we will there's nothing will be back ordered nothing will be back ordered if we are back ordered we'll send you an email and say hey you know got a back order here a back order there we've already put our manufacturing company on alert and they are they're going crazy right now so do not worry if you want to stock up now is the time Find out what we've got, savingdinner.com forward slash Friday. All of the deals are there and you can save up to 50%. Screaming deal. So I told you I was going to read, um, oh, and the other thing is our Thanksgiving menus. Don't forget about those, savingdinner.com forward slash thanks, including the mini menu that we did for small gatherings, which could be just you and your spouse. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Um, but a cute little menu, you know, just using a chicken. Chickens are good. Aren't you ready? Alrighty, so let's see what we've got here. I have to read this to you because, um, well, it just made me ball my eyes out. <laughs> it just made me ball my eyes out. And this is our Wendy who wrote in, and this was back in, she writes, it, I started back in August, and I remember the email that she wrote in. She wrote in an email saying, would this help me? And you know, I always wanna say, yeah, it's gonna help you, but I can't promise the moon. What I can promise you is that good consistency is gonna get you good consistent results. How long is it gonna take? It might take a minute. You know, we all have a different tra a journey to make and we all have different things that are our, you know, particular obstacles that we're starting with. So we always have to take a look at that. Well, she wrote in this email and I forgot my, I forgot my um, hot milk mix downstairs. Boo, I'm all thirsty. She said, first I wanna say a huge thank you for putting beauty support on such an amazing cell. Your generosity overwhelms me. Secondly, I told you one day I was gonna write you with my testimonial. I started beauty support on August 29th. Now, you guys listen to this I'm, and grab your Kleenex. It's gonna take you. Um, I've always had thin hair, but 14 years ago had major surgery, stage four liver cancer. They were unable to remove all the cancer um, and I also had lymph node invasion. There was no treatment, treatment available, so God not only removed all the cancer, but he spared me from going through chemo and radiation. I mean, Kleenex, am I right? <laughs> that that would, did it for me. And did, however, end up with having even thinner hair and even a few small areas on top of my head where no hair grew at all. 
I decided to wear a wig, which I was very grateful for, but I was also hated. When I started hearing how both you and Marla were seeing new hair growth when taking beauty support, I felt so envious. I tried so many products for so many different ailments and literally nothing ever worked for me before. My husband convinced me, and by the way, Wendy, what a lovely husband you have. My husband convinced me to treat myself and at least give beauty support a try. When I ordered it and told you my story, you warned me, I did, because of my medical history, it might not get as good a results as some others or it may, may take much longer. I am so thrilled to tell you that I ditched the wig and started using beauty support and my hair is growing. I have lots of new hair around my face, but more, I'm most thrilled that the bald spots on top of my head are filling in. I no longer spend an hour trying to comb my hair to hide the bare areas. I know it will just continue to thicken as I plan to always continue with this amazing product. I no longer hide in my house. Yes, I would hide. I didn't even go out to get the mail in case someone saw me. And I've had the compliments on my hair. How does one properly thank another for all they do for others and for this amazing product you put together? Words just aren't enough, but I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I can finally start feeling good about myself. Love and big hugs to you, Wendy. Right? <laughs> I mean, come on. I told you, every single one of our products is formulated for women who are just like us. And for Wendy, for you, for me, and for us who want to do something. You know, we no longer have to live in this place of not knowing what to do. We no longer have to live in this place of feeling like we just don't have control over our lives. We have to correct things, of course. There's always things that need correcting. But we also need to supplement. And you know, I will tell you this right now. I have always believed in supplementing. I've been taking supplements since I was in my 20s. But the older I get, the more I see, the dirtier our food supply gets and our whole world gets with the environmental toxins, the stress that's on us, we have to supplement. We have to, this is how we take care of our health. And you know, Wendy, I'm so proud of you. And what a beautiful testimonial and thank you for sharing this with us and for everybody. And um, I hope that blessed you all. And by the way, we just ordered a whole boatload <laughs> of, um, we ordered a whole more boatload of, of beauty support because it's already been flying and now with this, I'm sure it will. <laughs> but yeah, you can get a whole 12 month supply for half off. You just have to go um, get, go to savingdinner.com forward slash thanks or forward slash Friday, sorry. Gosh, I'm a mess, okay. Anyway, wasn't that amazing? Anyway, I had to share that with you. Okay. You ready? Shall we get down to business? You wanna get busy? This is it. Oh, let me see. She says, thank you, Leanne. You have no idea how much you mean to me. I actually am not afraid to look in the mirror anymore. Oh, bless you, Wendy. I love you. Send me a picture, I wanna see it. I wanna see your picture. Yeah, show me it for out. You know, we do those, the, the you know, before and afters, because it, it works. When we have something that works, we wanna share it. So today we're gonna to be talking about the four steps to intention and nurturing, nurturing your beautiful self. You know, your beautiful self is this part in you that I talk about that is your heart, mind, it's part of your beauty, you know, the beauty that you have inside. Your beautiful self is your empathy, it's your soul, it's your spirit, it's the Holy Spirit that connects with you. And it's, it, I also say big time, it's your empathy because as we grow in emotional intelligence, we become more empathetic with people around instead of saying, well, you should just, and well, look at you. Well, you know, had you not done this, instead we offer love, we offer support, we offer encouragement and maybe a word of advice. You know what we do? We always, always, always go to the place of nurturing this part of ourselves because when we neglect our beautiful selves, our souls, we're, we're constantly hungry, we're constantly thirsty, and no wonder we can't catch up. No wonder we always feel like something is missing. This nurture that we do, 
this nurture of our, our beautiful selves, this is when we become and step into our real, true, and authentic selves. That's what I believe with my whole heart. And when we're just, we get caught in, in just what the world is offering of, you know, get down into your skinny jeans, wear a bikini again, do this, do that. These are parts of the things that we want in our lives, but we want the whole enchilada, don't we? Sorry for anybody who that triggers. <laughs> we want the whole thing. We want all the things. We want the beautiful life that that is possible. And we do have that ability to grab this once we start to realize and, and understand that it's available to us when we start to nurture and embrace our full selves. And again, that full self is bringing vibrancy back to all the parts, heart, mind, body, and soul. You know, we, you cannot divorce parts of yourself. You are a whole woman. You know, you come in your whole body suit. That's our vehicle, but inside is so much more. And when we start to nurture that so much more, things start to really change and we can live our lives with intention. And you know, an intention is an aim that guides your actions. It's an aim that guides what your objectives in your life are. And it activates that part. It activates intention so that you are now fully aware of what it is that you want and you intend to bring in the things that you wanna have in your life. So what are the four steps? The four steps are activating, first of all, your receptivity to all of this. Because if you're not receptive to it, if you just say, that's just a bunch of mumbo jumbo, um, it's not, you know, nothing works until you believe it does. We have to have our belief systems in that place, you know, in that place. Our belief systems activate everything. And when we believe and we start to understand that these beliefs no longer work for us, that they're old, they're ancient, they're based on an experience that was maybe not so pleasant, they're not based on where we are today, and we can see that those things need to be flipped out, well, that's when things start to really, uh, really start to change. So how do we activate that receptivity? There's four steps. And these also, by the way, are, are part of your alignment assignment. And that's understanding that discipline is number one. That has to be a part of it. Number two is wisdom. Wisdom from on high and wisdom from within. Wisdom has to be a part of this whole situation as well, as does love and as does surrender. Those four things, discipline, wisdom, love, and surrender. Let's start with the, with the whole idea of discipline. When we discipline, that means that we're not gonna allow ourselves to have a mindset and a thought life that's just all over the place. When we see something that's not working, we call it out. We say, wait, hold the phone. That doesn't work anymore. And what do we do? We look for a way to flip it. We look for a way to find something instead that more or less aligns with the way it is our new belief system, with what it is that we're, we're thinking about ourselves now. We, we talked about this in detail all this week, so if you've missed any of the shows, go back and watch them. They all kind of stack up on each other, and today what we're, do is, we're doing is kind of tying the whole thing up with a big, big fat bow that says um, it's all about your intention. It's about the four steps to intention so that we can start igniting all these things, flipping beliefs, and living from a place of full intention. So we got to, and, and the other thing is, this is the, the thing that has just really come into my mind of, of doing all of this, is that this is just simplifying all of this stuff. And what you simplify, you also amplify. Because when it's hard, when it's complex, when it's just like all these steps and so much going on, we, we do get overwhelmed and we, our brains just don't know where to go. So when we can simplify things and understand that our intentions really are gonna take us to where we want to because the intention is gonna guide the belief and the belief is gonna guide the intention and all of these things work hand in hand and it becomes quite simple, doesn't it? Quite simple. I love that about this because it just, it brings us back to our authenticity and our beautiful selves and who we really are under, underneath all of this stuff, you know? We're not just what we look like. We're not just what we say. We're not just where we live and what we believe and all of that. We are who we are deep, deep within. 
We are who God created. And when we're lined up perfectly, excuse me for that word, um, we can start living our lives excellently. This is a big deal. So discipline is activating intention by a mindset. And it's by a mindset, I think, of an athlete. Because when you think about, think about what an athlete does, think about what a gold medal uh, Olympic athlete does, they are intentional about what they do. Their training is intentional, their thought is intentional, and when they get their thought around their training, things start to happen. Tony Robbins is really good. I mean, he's done, he, he's um, trained and, and have these all these gold medal athletes and high level athletes as his clients in the past, and it's lining up what they're thinking with what it is that they're doing. Because when your thinking is lined up with what you're doing and you're thinking, I'm turning this down so that I can have this thing that is in my vision. I'm turning down these cheesy fries or truffle fries is what I talked about last week, right? When I'm turning down these truffle fries, it's because this vision that I have for myself and is, is more important and I can feel the emotion of it. I can feel what it feels like to, to be living in that, in that bodysuit instead. I can feel all the things that go along with it. And athletes do that. Um, he, uh, Tony Robbins worked with um, Michael, what's his name? The swimmer, the big butter, big arms. I can't remember his last name. Somebody's gonna put it out there for me. I, I know. Um, you got, he, he worked with him, Tiger Woods. He's worked with skiers. He's worked with people, all kinds of elite athletes and their performance got better and better and better. They'd already had the action steps in it but they just got their mind into it even more, taking it to that next level. Michael Phelps, thank you, Lynn, I appreciate that. That's what it is. When you are gonna take yourself to the next level, you're gonna have your heart, mind, body, and soul all wrapped up in that, all of it. It's not just one thing, it's all the things. And when we understand that, you know, <laughs> that's the Tony Robbins way of doing it. You're feeling the emotion. Your, your mind is in it. He has people walking across hot coals without getting burned. And is it because they, you know, they've got asbestos feet? No, it's because their minds are so intent on the goal of getting to the other side without the burning that their minds are able to do that. How much more it, does that make for us that we are able to really put some emotion behind the vision that we have for our lives, that we live intentionally toward that vision, and the focus now is less on what didn't work, less on what's not helpful, less on the obstacles, less on the excuses, and more and more and more pointed toward that vision, giving us all the, all the things, all the feels, you know, making that so that's what we feel. Michael Phelps was talking about how, I mean, he was already a world-class athlete, winning meets all over, but he was talking about how Tony Robbins spoke to him about feel, reaching out and touching the side to break a record. He was trying to break a record. And how it would feel touching it. What does it feel like? What does it feel like against your fingertips? Which arm is reaching out to grab that? I mean, just to, to the degrees of really focusing in on all the feelings, taking it down to the nitty gritty. That's the kind of intention that we can create for ourselves. And that's the kind of intention that puts us in this place of just being one-minded one with what it is that we want. We've, we connect so strongly with that that this, the truffle fries fade in comparison to that vision that we have for ourselves. That's what happens when we have the discipline and the mindset of an athlete. And and you know, we don't you know, we don't have to do it quite like they do, but but that's the thing that puts that puts you puts oh, I can't speak. That's the thing that pushes it over the edge. It's the big thing. And it's seeing that end result. It's seeing that edge of the pool. It's training to make it happen. Can I do it this time? Can I do it? You know, can I do 15 more minutes on the bike? Can I do this? Can I 
add maybe a little arm exercises or can I add a little something in there? Can I add an extra stairs going up and down? Am I on point with my, with my hydration? Am I on point with my food? Is it easy for me to start saying no to this stuff that used to really mess me up? Because that vision is so vibrant. That vision is so vibrant, that vision is magnetic. And when that, that vision starts to pull you, that's the thing that you keep your eye on, not this all, all this other garbage. You know, we know what that stuff is. We've lived that before. That's that negative dreadmill that we talk about that goes on and on and around and around. We know how to stop that. And we know how to get off the carousel of crazy once we start activating our receptivity to all of this. It, it just makes all the difference in the world. So we have discipline, number one, we activate our intention by a mindset, a mindset of an athlete, a mindset of an athlete who's doing the work, doing the, all the actions to get us there, and also training to make it happen, having consistent action all the way, making that edge of the pool a visual, a guiding light. I'm going to touch it. I'm going to touch it one second closer. I'm almost there. Next time I get out there, I'm going to be able to do it and start hitting those goals. You know, I haven't got, you know, this bike behind me that goes nowhere. Um, I haven't started really getting into the whole competitive athletic side, and I'm, I've am i been a little bit tempered with that because I don't wanna hurt myself or push it, but now that I'm getting a little bit better on it, and now that the internet is back that I can start using it again, I'm gonna start setting some goals and seeing myself push a little further and, and touching that edge a little bit more. It's good for us. It makes us say, look, Look what you're able of accomplishing. Look what you can do. I love that. And when we hit those milestones and say, look what I did. Jenny shared that in the Hot Melt Sprint group this week that she hit a milestone and she was ecstatic. She should have been. She should have been. And, she, and that's, that's keeping her vision alive and hot and burning ever so in, in front of her eyes. She had to jump some obstacles to get there, but she did it. And the point is, is that when you do it too, we celebrate you. We get to that place so that we are always having that hot burning vision in front of us and the other stuff that used to hold us back, it gets becomes less and less and less. That's the cool thing about all of this and setting these intentions. And then the wisdom is to understand we have got to reject perfection. Reject perfect because perfect isn't here on this side of glory. You know, it's like expecting Prince Charming to, to you know, if, if you're single, is expecting to Prince Charming to come knocking on your door on a white horse. You know, it's fairy tale stuff. It's just not the thing. You know what the thing is? The thing is, is that we have to be in the place of embracing excellence. Excellence is the way to go. And when we do things excellently, we feel differently about ourselves. We feel like we have gotten, we've gotten through a whole lot of stuff. We went through the weaves. We went past the obstacles. We said no to the things that didn't work for us because that goal again is burning. It's like a burning bush. It's attracting us like, why is this bush burning over here? We're gonna go and do, we're gonna go and look at that and stay focused on that thing. That's the thing that makes all the difference. That's the thing that rattles cages. That's the thing that stirs the heart. That's the thing that makes you go all the way in. Excellence, being excellent. And then we have to also, um, we also have to have the ability to focus, harmonizing all the way, the way that we feel about all this stuff, harmonizing our goals, harmonizing the way we think about it, harmonizing within our communities and getting our support system in place, harmonizing all the way. It's not one thing, it's all the things. It's our lives, because our lives are at stake. <laughs> you know, our lives are at stake. Now I know that there's people who have been in the place of being in, you know, just like flipping out and going, oh my gosh, my doctor just gave me this bad news. So what? You know, yeah, that happens, yep, whatever. But if you are in our community, you have seen over and over and over again, people sharing, hey, you know, my A1C went from nine down to seven. My doctor can't believe it. Cut my cholesterol medicine in half. Got my blood pressure medication on. I mean, we've seen it on repeat. Why? Because the wisdom of rejecting perfect 
and embracing excellence and seeing and having a hot desire to get after that goal, get after that vision. I have seen it over and over again. And you know what? These women show up. <laughs> That's another one of their secret sauces. They show up, they do the work. And, and after a while of doing the work, it becomes easier, it becomes easier because that vision is closer and closer and you're that much more hot and, and bothered about it and want it that much more. It's amazing what happens and it's so much fun to see somebody light on fire and just get so excited about what they see. The other thing is number three is the love. <laughs> How about some love? Do you like a little love to go with that? I know I do. Love goes with that. When you fall in love with your goal, think about this. When you fell in love with your spouse or you know, if you're single or whatever, everybody's, we've all fallen in love, right? That love, it just, you think about him. What's he doing now? What's it like? Oh my gosh, the way he kissed me, you know? And then you're batting your eyes like Cinderella and all, you know, hearts are flying off of you. <laughs> We get a little goofy when we get in love, don't we? But we are thinking about them. What can I do to make them happy? What can I do to make them feel good? How about some flowers? How about some champagne? How about a little, you know, moonlight and candlelight, all of that, obsessed. When you fall in love with your goal, you're just as goofy. You're just as giddy. You're just as in love with the goal and you see it. You see it in a way that you've never seen it before and your intentions line up just like, like little dominoes, all in line, excited. Excited to get on that. Isn't it so true? Have you seen that? That's what happens when you fall in love with a goal. And when you fall in love with a goal, you've got everything that you've got right behind it, pushing it along pushing it along. You're no longer dragging it. It's no longer a big deal. It's no longer like, oh, I gotta do this. It's I get to. I'm so excited about it. I get to work out today. I get to eat this healthy food. I am a blessed woman because our mindset completely flips when our intention is activated. And the last thing is surrender. You know, this is this one to me is a big one. This is a big one. When your mindset shifts, you surrender. You lay it all down because you are no longer gonna be held captive by all this belief system, all these nonsense excuses, obstacles, everything. None of this stuff anymore is gonna hold, hold you captive. Not anymore. We're done. We're done with it. You've decided no. You've decided to break up with all of this like a bad boyfriend. You've decided that's just not worth it. You've surrendered. Because surrendering is the power position. It is. You've laid it all down because you know exactly what you want and that vision for yourself is what you want. And you see the shift. You see the shift and you wrap your arms around it and say, this is the only thing that I want. I was thinking that in about this really um, intensely because I've been very mindful and very intentional about, uh, about um staying in the place of having, um, just having this whole intuitive eating being my thing. Because what I'll find myself doing is I'm sprinting, I'm doing this, and I'll have a little whatever, eat this, you know, you know, Mark will make something and I'll say, ooh, okay, well, I'm gonna have that. And then I'll go gain a couple more pounds and then I'm back down and all of this. And I thought, where is the intention in that? And where's the in intuitive eating in that? Well, if I eat intuitively and I allow myself to say, do I really want this? Am, uh, is this feeding me heart, mind, body, and soul? Then my, my things, things start to shift and it becomes so much easier. Intuitive eating is the place that we want to go. Intuitive eating is the goal because that, is, that means the end forever and ever, amen, of dieting which I think is just a big scam to, to rob women of their, uh, of, of their wallets and of their sanity because it's just, it's a bunch of garbage. There are certain things that we need to do. I do believe that there are, there are reasons to cleanse because we all need a little clean out every once in a while. I do believe in getting, eating an anti-inflammatory diet, but it all needs to be scientific and it also needs to be supportive of a life you wanna lead, right? Not shots and not eating a bunch of crap and not, you, know, you understand where I'm going with all of this. 
But that's what surrender does. Surrender gives you peace because you're laying down everything and you're saying that's enough of all of that because I know it, I know my know, I know, I know, I know. I know in my knowing that what I want and where I wanna go and how I'm gonna get there and the people who are surrounding me and the things that I'm doing are all based on my highest intention of living my very best life, you know? Because this is going to nurture you along the way as well. It's gonna nurture you, you mind, body, and soul. You're never, ever, ever gonna be in the place where you're going, oh, I just can't wait for this to be over. Instead, you're gonna be just living your life, no longer obsessing with food, no longer addicted to stuff, and no longer going to the next guru, no longer spending money on supplements, and yeah, they call, loosely calling them supplements, but diet pills that keep you up for three days, no longer being suckered into any of that stuff, but instead living your life intentionally, instead eating intuitively, instead living your life on full intention of such a beautiful, vibrant life. That's where we want to go. That's it right there, isn't it? I know that's what I want. And every single day I'm, I'm setting my sail toward that goal. Every single day my GPS is going that way. I will no longer live on the carousel of crazy, expecting different results and going around and around, up and down, and fooling around with all of that garbage. You know, that is a culture. And I think, and it is a toxic culture, the diet culture. We don't do that here. We never will. I'm gonna bring you back to your authentic self, your authentic, vibrant self, because that's who you are. That's who God made. That's your purpose is to be to take this vibrant self and help others. Did you know that? You're being tapped on the shoulder right now. Do you feel it? That's the Holy Spirit talking to you and saying, "Come on along." That's what that's what is out there for you. We all have it. We all have this high high purpose because we're all put here by God for a purpose at this time, at this place. You are loved, Teresa. You should feel loved. You're all very loved. And you're all just a precious part of this community. You have no idea how much I appreciate you, how much I love you. And every single day, as I write out your orders and say, um, and have the gratitude in my heart, thanking God for each one of you, because I know you can go other places, but you come to me. And I thank you for that every single day. I pray for every single one of you as I say thank you on your order forms. I do, because you know, you're a precious part of my community. Thank you for being there. And thank you too for sharing these videos and for writing in your testimonials and letting us know how we've impacted your life. We don't take it lightly. It is our joy and it's our privilege to serve. Thank you again for joining me today for Soulful Saturday. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please share it. And uh, we will, we're off tomorrow, but our, I promise you, Black Friday continues. Don't miss these sales. Go to savingdinner.com forward slash Friday. All the information is there. You can save up to 50% screaming deals. We love you and we appreciate you. Peace be with you. Thanks for watching. You can find us on YouTube on the Saving Dinner channel or on the Saving Dinner Facebook page. Check back daily for new episodes, Monday to Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern. If you missed the live show, you can watch the replay. Until next time, pinkies up.